Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, we have been on... Oops, you know it's me. Anyway, yes, we have been on the shuttle launch. <laughs> okay, that space shuttle Endeavor going through the streets of Los Angeles. I mean, talk about exciting. It has been so, so, so much fun. Really. It, it, <laughs> okay, and it's crazy because we went... Oh, I guess I better bring on Kim. I mean, you're just going to have to pay attention to our shuttle coverage because, yes, we have been covering the shuttle from all the different angles, um, from different places, and we've been watching it live streaming. We can tell you when they were having problems um, and all sorts of things. But anyway, it's been very exciting. And meanwhile, I guess news still continues. And we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Combat, I figure, well, I used to play privates and sergeants. In, uh, in combat. Now I think I can get an officer's role because I look older. I know, and your hair looks darker. I, I'm looking at it, it's like in that shirt and with the dark. But what happens dark is, shirt, you if, actually look more fit. If I had a crew cut, I lose my um, I, I, If I get a crew cut, I lose my blonde hair because, as she knows, it's red underneath the. <laughs> I don't bleach it, it's just red underneath it, so. Mm -hmm. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I'm going to try something. Okay. This is something from, um, from Mark Twain that often when you see somebody laughing hysterically like he was a lunatic, you misunderstand he's actually laughing at you. And that's exactly what happened with, uh, with um, Joe Biden the other night. He knows that you're about to reelect the people that have caused all our problems for another four years. Well, actually, it's only going to be for two years because there's no way on earth that the Senate is going to be able to fix it so that they can be there forever. And in two years, oh, this is a good one. Remember how almost, how the majority, of the, how 20 of the Democratic senators were up for re-election this time? Mm -hmm. There are 23 out of the 57 that they have that are up for election in two years again, which means the Republicans, if they, they figure the Republicans are going to bounce up to maybe 49 seats this mm -hmm. time. In 2014, they'll take the majority, and guess who gets thrown out of office? Oh. Yeah. And yes, this Los Angeles is proud to announce the space shuttle Endeavor is finally making its final journey through the streets of LA. Yeah, we, we, it's, yeah, we were there shooting pictures yesterday, and we, were, we, we saw the bottleneck when it hit. Basically, um, there was some discussion yesterday about 80 tons may have been too much to go over the bridge at one time. So Well, it, that is an awful lot of weight. <laughs> yeah, an awful lot of weight. So we, like a lot of people are discussing, well, shouldn't they have thought of that before they decided to do that route? Yeah. You know, uh, you know, they, 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 okay, they, they could have landed it at an airport you know, like Ontario, and brought it up the bloody highway. It only takes up three lanes of a four-lane road. Or if they put it at the Hawthorne Airport, it's on the other side of the freeway. That's right. Mm, yeah. But, it, you know, I guess, well, actually, it's a small airport. Yeah. It's not quite as large as LAX. But, it would have, but it had, if they land the big planes there, though. Burbank. Yep. Lots oh, of actually, planes. you'd probably have to cross freeways. To no, but, no, but they could have only had to go up. Uh, the off ramps are on on dirt on dirt mountain on dirt bankments, so it easily can hold the 80 tons going up it to go to the road you're going to be on. But uh, you know there was like they told us that yesterday we were talking with security guards. He said they may have to turn this thing around. I love that. Mm -hmm. May have to turn it around. They were telling everybody was shutting off an area. I know, and this was at four o'clock. Yeah. It, and it, what time did it go past the donut? Randy's donut. Yeah, really late at night. Like past 11.30. Because uh, I think what they did was, because they were afraid it was going to damage the overpass, they didn't want cars going through underneath during rush hour, so they waited until late at night when there's no one going, stopped the traffic for it to go across, and then, I mean, at the 9 o'clock this morning, I don't think it still had gotten where it was supposed to be. And the, and the oh, thing was no, because it was supposed to be there this morning yeah, for, for a celebration. Yes. And... Um, <laughs> Did we talk about the man with the small grenade at South, in South Korea? No, really no, it's just okay. But you're not supposed to have any type of grenade. I mean, yeah. So he tries to get on an airplane with a smoke grenade with him. I mean, they. Why? Why in the world did he? Think okay, he here the on trick there? is what most people don't understand is, is if you put a smoke grenade in a closed container, it becomes a bomb. 
it will blow up and set fire. So, Anna beauty treatment kills Hong Kong women, and three are ill. Well, you know, because um, uh, what happens is a lot of the people in Asia will like to have their skin lightened, and that skin lightening is always a, ha a dangerous process. And if uh, if you do too much, it can, okay, everybody watched Gut um, Goldfinger when Shirley Eden got killed by too much gold. This is the same process. If you take too much, do too much lightening at one time, it puts the, the poisons your system. or whatever yeah. into it. Yeah. And with Turkey Syria escalation worries grow about a tip in two war. Well, yeah, you know, because Turkey is all pissed off that the Obama administration isn't doing anything in the UN. Uh, well, the problem comes. It's called what goes around comes around. Remember, Turkey has been putting a crimp in anything that has to do with stopping Muslim advancement in the Middle East. And now all of a sudden, the Muslims are at war with one another. It's, real, it's one Muslim tribe against another Muslim tribe. The Iranians and the Syrians are of the same group and are half of the Iraqis. So you basically start lining up sizable armies against one another. And meningitis outbreak expands to 12 states and 184 cases. Yeah, and, they're, they're, and it, it should never have happened because, the, okay, this is the FDA under Obama. And they're blaming George Bush. No, this didn't happen under Bush. It happened under Obama that they were sloppy in, the, in doing their record keeping because the company that sent out the stuff did not have license to distribute. It had a license to create, not distribute. And love letters sent from Nazi camp delivered 70 years later. I know. That's, uh, you know that's, 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 that happens at the mail sometimes. And, well, the mail service is the same in every country in the world. It's really bad. <laughs> and the prettiest girl in the dance, swing state voters, share there. Okay. We're going to try, the Estable is going to try to explain something very simple to everybody out there that does. Let's not actually do have an audience anymore for this show, which is amazing. That, um, the swing state, the, the swing state voter, the independents have never been up for grabs. They were already decided two months ago who they were going to vote for. There was like maybe two or three percent that hadn't made up their mind, and those people aren't going to vote. So they know which direction everybody's going. This is why the polling pollsters, Republicans, Democrats, the uh, the uh, independent pollsters are all basically written off. Twenty-seven out of fifty states to Romney now. And U.S. Pastor Terry Jones denied entry into Canada. Well, yeah, because they, you know, if, if you've got any, uh, they, here's the trick is, you don't have to, you really don't have to do more than show a driver's license to get across the Canadian border, and somebody has to be on a watch list not to get in. And former spy talks Argo and Iran rescue mission. We yeah, have a tank in this week at the box office. And save the date, iPad Mini may be available on October 23rd. Well, yeah. Since Maybe. No, since they're sending out the invitations, it better be. It better be. Hey, we better get on that invite list. I'm trying, yeah. to, get, I'm trying to get on the invite list, but unfortunately what happens is if Apple refuses to do anything in Los Angeles. It's always in San Francisco area. And they, you know, uh, the news people are here. They're not there. And since they're no longer, they used to give out iPhones, they used to do this stuff, they're no longer doing any of that stuff. I mean, if, if we knew we were going to get a couple of mini iPads, we might go there, so. Mm -hmm. And how size asteroid to buzz the Earth today? Oh, yeah, it, it's going to come, it's going to come, uh, you know, uh, like a, as close to the Earth as anything has ever came, and, it, you, know, you know, like maybe 40, 50 million miles. MVP debate tees up closing issues for Romney and Obama. Well, okay. The problem was was that the, the, the there I, I love it. There were 40 instances of of, um, of of the woman stopping Ryan from finishing up his statements, and she never once stopped Biden from interrupting or finishing his. So there's, there's no prejudice. No, you know. First of all, they did admit that if they'd have known that the Obama was a personal friend of the woman, she would not have been allowed. Actually. ABC is not thrilled about that either because it makes it look bad for them, you know. Because ABC basically is tends to be more neutral than the other people, but they didn't do what it has. They said they got to do their homework now, like little questions. Do you know the? Do you personally know the president of the United States? That was a simple thing, and 
she didn't bother, you know, they didn't ask her because they never bothered to think about him being a, helping to arrange her, her wedding, so. And J.P. Morgan's demand hits back at government over Bear Stearns' suit. Oh yeah, because um, they, basically J.P. Morgan was forced by the Obama administration to take over a bit, to take over a failing brokerage. Now they're suing J.P. Morgan over the losses from the business that they were forced to take over. I mean, it, it just uh, this is what Obama does, folks. He throws you under the wheels of every bus that you know. Uh, you know the, those the Canadian buses that he couldn't get made in the United States. He'll throw you under the wheels of. And President Obama looks to regroup. Mitt Romney appears confident. Well, they said that, I love this, uh, Obama's people on a talk show the last two days. Uh, Ron, okay, the, uh, the Romney role has now come to an end because of the, of the handling of Ryan by Biden. Well, the, where they need it, they consider, say they considered it a horrible, insulting performance, so it didn't go over well. Mm -hmm. And, um, and the, the, uh, every day, the de Obama wakes up and he's further behind in his own polls. Look, they said, look here, they, what was it? One of the people who basically is a Democratic pollster said the best way to determine how the election is going is where they're putting money into and taking money out of. If they're pulling money out of states, it's either because they think they're going to win the state or they're going to lose it. And in the Obama case, these are states that are all were, that were red under Bush became blue under. Uh, under McCain and going red again. I mean, I, I love this. They said, uh, he said, uh, one of the pollsters said, you know, in his best Southern voice, he said, yeah, but uh, he said, I, I want to see a white man vote for a black man in that Southern state again. <laughs> and I said, he said, that's just not going to happen. So. <laughs> <laughs> the Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Sometimes all it takes is a little listening. <laughs>